Hi, I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and this is Fun With Photos. Today I'm going to talk about keeping your photos safe. I mean, you can't have fun with them if you've lost them, right? And there's three different features. Don't lose your photos when you lose your phone. That's absolutely the most important one. But there's more. You should prevent accidents when you do something stupid when you are editing or deleting photos. That's another kind of backup. And most of us like to have a local copy of our best photos for offline viewing. Now, there's lots of different ways of doing all of this, but to keep it short, I'm going to cut to the chase and just show you how I do this, how I keep my photos safe. But first, I need to share with you a little bit of terminology to make sure that you understand how I am using certain words. First, I'm going to be saying the cloud a lot. You may wonder, where did the term cloud come from? Well, it was from people who had to diagram their computer networks. And when it came to diagramming this huge interplanetary feature called the, the internet, they just used a cloud. I like it, especially if you actually think of it as a cloud above the earth, then it helps with the terminology upload and download. If you have something on the device on in your hands and you want it in the cloud, you have to upload. If there's something in the cloud already and you want it on your device, you have to download. And last about the cloud is you don't just put your photos anywhere in the cloud. You have to pay for some storage space and you do that through an account. Every account has a username and password. The photos are stored for your eyes only, unless you should specifically choose to share something. The last term is backup. Now, the first meaning of the word is simply to copy photos from your phone to the cloud. That is a backup from your phone to the cloud. But there's more. I say that there's something called a true backup, which is an extra copy that you don't touch. For example, I use Google Photos for the number one copying photos to the cloud, and I work with them there. It's my working copy. So I could accidentally delete bunches of them. If so, I better have another backup. Okay, so the first and most important step to keeping your photos safe is don't lose your photos when you lose your phone. The way I do that is I use the Google Photos app. And let me show you what I mean. So here is my phone and here is the Google Photos app. Now on an iPhone, you would have to install the app using the Apple App Store. On an Android, it may already be installed. Just take a look for it. Otherwise, install it from the Google Play Store. Now, I open the Google Photos app. I tap on the account button, my little face in the upper right, and I go to settings. Backup. So just notice that backup is on. That means that whenever I take a photo with this phone, it is going to get copied to the cloud in my Google Photos account. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to take my, my sweet polar bear here with his beanie cap, and I'm going to take a picture of him. So with that phone, I go into the camera, I take a picture of the polar bear with the beanie. Now I go into Google Photos just to show you this is happening without my doing anything. As long as that setting is turned on and I'm on Wi-Fi, then that photo is getting backed up to the Google Photos cloud. And I can prove it. First, I will look at the account button and it says backup complete. So 
in between the time I took the photo and I started showing you the screen, it got backed up. I can go to the computer and a web browser and just take a look at photos.google.com. Now I am looking online at my Google Photos account and there is the picture I just took. So if my phone went overboard or got run over by the car right now, I would not lose this photo. I could even just get any other device and if, as long as I installed Google Photos and I have it set to the same account, I will see the photo, even though this device didn't take the picture. So no worries. I could lose my phone. I don't lose my photos. The next step is to have a true backup. Let's say you mistakenly deleted a lot of photos out of your Google account, or maybe Google mistakenly said that your account was bad and deleted it. I don't know. You better have another backup. I call that a true backup. The easiest way to do this is with another cloud account, such as OneDrive or Dropbox or Amazon Photos. Let me show you how you would do this with Amazon Photos. So here is my phone and here is the Amazon Photos app. I go into the settings, settings, and auto save and notice that photos is on. So that means anytime that you open this app, it is looking for photos and it's going to back it up. Notice you do have to open the app to make it work. If you want to see the photos that have been backed up by Amazon, here they are. There is my little polar bear. So if my Google account should go away and my phone is lost, I still have my original photos on Amazon and I never delete them from here. If you don't want to use another cloud account, you could back up your phone's pictures to your computer. All you need is a cable. You plug one end into the phone, the other into your computer, and then you can use the files and folders to copy the photos over. Or you can get a thumb drive. Yes, they actually make thumb drives that will work in the phone. On this particular one, I take this cap off and I have a lightning adapter. This will go into an iPhone. I take this end off and I have a C adapter that will go into an Android, an Android phone. And then I can also put the cap back on and I get a regular USB-A adapter that'll go into the computer. The third and final layer is to download a copy, probably just of your best photos, to your computer so that you have offline. If for chance you're somewhere where there's no internet, you have your computer, you still have your pictures. Let me show you what I mean. So here are all my Google Photos, and I have thousands and thousands and thousands of them. I would like to have a copy on my computer's hard drive, but not of all of these. I take several pictures any time that I see something nice. I don't want all of those on my computer. I have developed a system over the years where I make an album of my best photos for each month. So for example, here is April. Instead of the probably 1,500 pictures I took in April. This is just a couple hundred of my best pictures. These are what I want to download to my computer, and you can do that. I just open the album, I click the three dots, and I download all. It takes a minute to put it together, but then it comes up with a zip file that has all of those pictures in it, and I can specify where to put those. I keep them on an external hard drive in a folder called Pictures, and notice I've been doing this for many, many years. So I can just open the folder for this year and download.
and I'm happy with the name it gives it. It gives it 2023-04 April. That's what I called my album. That will now become a folder or a zip file on my external hard drive. And if something should crash the entire internet, I still have my best photos. Now you can rest easy knowing that your photos are completely safe. And for an extra bonus, if you make albums in Google Photos, it's just a couple of clicks to ask them to print you a photo book. 